Assalamu alaikum, this is Abdul Shaheed and welcome back to Islamic Life Mastery with the traits and the characteristics of the muttaqun, the elite Muslims and how to become one. Today we're going to be talking about perseverance. Perseverance, a better way of putting it maybe, is to never give up. Now one of the characteristics of the muttaqun, the elite Muslims, was that they would never give up on the things that they set out to do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we go back to the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linnas. You are the best of nations, you are, you are from the best of nations that you were taken out to be the best of examples for humanity and the muttaqun, they became the best of examples by never giving up, by always striving. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاءِ وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرَةٌ إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِعِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, like, seek the aid of Allah, seek the help of Allah using these two things. These are the two things that will get you the greatest success that you could get. The first one is patience. And another word for that is perseverance. And the second one is dua. If you've failed before in something that you really wanted to do and you've never returned to it, it's not because you're a failure. It's human habit that we become disappointed and we give up. And it's and it's from the waswas of the shaitan. When we're trying to do something great, the shaitan or the shayateen, they come to us and they whisper to us and they tell us that uh, we're not doing so good, really bad at this and you're, you're failing. And, uh, and ultimately, when we give in to that, we give up and we stop. Now, I'm here to tell you that you are not from the failures. Because you haven't succeeded at doing something before doesn't mean you're not going to succeed again. As for patience, Patience is not just like giving it, a, giving it a shot and then waiting for it to happen. And then when it doesn't happen, you give up. That's not patience. Patience is that you persevere. You continue to try and you change your methods. You change your ways. If something's not working, try something else. But you continue to strive until you gain what you want. Now that is patience. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ salah And salah is the dua. Now, if you took all the action in the world and you tried everything you could do, like it may not necessarily happen because you and I were limited. We have a limited capability, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is limitless. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give us anything that we ask for. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, like seek aid of Allah through taking action, being patient with it, like being steadfast and continuing. And secondly, through asking Allah, like make dua, do extra nawafil, do extra salawat, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and whatever you ask of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give it to you. Because ultimately, dua is the key to paradise. Like you and I, as I said already, we're limited in our abilities. But what if you can expand your capability? If Allah answers your dua, even if you were not able to do it previously, you can do it now. My question to you today, like we know that the muttaqun they were people who would seek the aid of Allah by taking action, by being continuous and persevering and being patient in that. And secondly, by asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah is the one who gives us success and the highest status. So they achieved the highest status and inshallah ta'ala, we should strive to attain our every goal in the same way. So this is it, action and dua, these two things Coupled together, they will make anything and everything happen for you. Let's do this. Let's become superhuman. Let's become the muttaqun. Let's become the highest achievers, the best of the best. Are you ready to become from the elite Muslims? Assalamu alaikum.